this week on 3D Printed Soup, it's printing and maintenance time. That's right after this. So it's been about two years since I bought my uh, Creality resin printer and yeah, all in all I'm very very happy with it. Now because it's got to a certain age we have got to replace the film. Uh, you may or may not know that when you use a resin printer the resin itself adheres to a very thin film of polythene and it's torn off every time a layer is cured and then another layer is adhered to it. As you can imagine, after 20 or 30,000 times of that being done, that resin does tend to wear through the film. So what we're gonna do here is we are gonna use the maintenance settings on the resin printer, and that's what's gonna shine UV light through the remaining resin, which is attached to the polythene, and make it go crispy. So I've drained the reservoir. As you can see, there's a little bit left in there, but only a tiny sort of spattering. The setting says to remove the build plate, so I've done that as well. And there you go. Now remove the build plate. Go into this, should be about 60 seconds. So press that and here comes the UV light and that is gonna shine through it and it's gonna cure any of the little bits and pieces of resin around the edge. Just wait for the exposure to complete and then we can get around to changing the film on this thing. There we are, lovely UV rays. No harm there whatsoever. So yeah, I wouldn't get your eyes too close to that. Always wear gloves and goggles. Okay, so yeah, exposure has been completed. So we just need to uh, remove the build tray now and then we can look at getting the new filament attached. Right, with the build tray taken out, let's have a quick look at this uh, film. And yeah, you can see that all the uh, remaining resin here has turned crispy and has now adhered to it. So yeah, it's no longer sticky, it's just crispy resin attached to the film. And here we go. In order to uh, get this film out, we're gonna have to use one of the Allen keys that came along with the printer. And we're gonna remove all of these little uh, bolts all around it and then free up the uh, brace which holds the film in place. Okay, with the last of these uh, being removed, we can now get the film out and it is held in place by sort of a square bracket that keeps it nice and taut. There we go. And there'll be a lot of uh, liquid filament under here which hasn't been uh, cured. So yeah, once, once again, wear gloves, wear good goggles, this stuff is nasty. I mean, it's not horribly toxic, but you don't want to get it on your skin and you definitely don't want to get this stuff in your eyes. Love it. All right, as you can see, yeah, this is fairly worn out. It's got scratches, it's got bits of filament, it's got little holes in it occasionally. So yeah, the more you use this, the more you're likely to get failed prints. As, uh, as you can imagine, if you're signing UV light through a uh, piece of uh, film which has got imperfections in it or little bits that can't quite shine through you're going to get detail which doesn't pick up you're going to get pieces of uh, the uh, filament which cure in the wrong place or don't cure at all and you miss large chunks of it and eventually it's going to breaking away and you're going to get a load of failed prints and a load of bloody ruined and uh, destroyed models so first things first isopropyl alcohol to give this a good clean. Isopropyl alcohol is great, it's 99.9% .9 alcohol and it cleans anything. And it's really good for removing any of this UV resin from the clamp here and from all of the other bits and pieces, just to make sure nothing pollutes the fresh resin when you put it in. And also, if you're putting a new piece of um, film on there, you don't want to have any of the old stuff touching it. You want a nice, clean start. Okay, so let's speed this up a bit and move on to the next step.
Right, with that cleaned, we are now going to have to uh, replace the film. You get it in this. This is the Creality's own um, film for 3D printers. Of course, you can get from a load of other companies as well, but I'm using the Creality one because it's the one that I got spare with my printer. So, you take the film, you remove the protective covering from it, uh, much like a mobile phone case. Um, in fact, it's a mobile phone screen you're going to be covering. Um, you have a protective covering just to make sure that you don't get any particulates, dirt or dust on here because any of that can cause a print to fail or be damaged. So you lay it on tight. Now this has got to be tight as anything. It's got to be really taut so that uh, you don't get any um, shifting, moving around. And just so when you're pulling the prints off it, it doesn't bend or basically move around and cause print to fail. Once you're happy it is flat, you then put the uh, oblong guide on top of it. This is the thing that the screw goes through and uh, holds it in place. Now you could try jam the screw straight through, but I tend to puncture a hole with a small uh, screwdriver just so it's got a way to start and doesn't tear the uh, film. So yeah, punch a hole, put a screw in. I find sort of doing the four corners just to make sure it's nice and tight. That way you know that basically you've got all four corners tight, then you can put the other pieces in as you go, pulling and tightening as you go with it. Okay, while we spool through here in the background, um, little note, you'll see that I have not cut off um, any of the excess film. What I'd like to do is I'll pull it tight all the way around so I've got a good little sort of lip on the edge. I can pull and keep it nice and taut. Uh, once I've attached all the screws um, into it, I'll then get a sharp knife and just shoot around the edge with it and then cut it off that way. Um, some people like to cut it to size first. I find that uh, having the extra little lip on there gives me really, really good amount of uh, film I can grip and just pull it to make sure that it stays nice and workable. Now that it's tight, you should get a noise like a drum. With the film firmly attached, you can now attach the uh, reservoir back onto your 3D printer. Screw the handles in place, making sure you don't touch them on the mobile phone screen and making sure there's no dust or any kind of particulates between the film or the mobile phone screen. I recommend a linked three cloth just to make sure that it's nice and clean. And there we go. That is a empty reservoir ready for me to put some more lovely UV resin straight in. Okay, that is the film replaced on my Creality LD002R. I actually think it's quite an easy process. As long as you wear protection and as long as you keep everything nice and clean, follow these steps and you should be able to replace your film on your resin printer fairly simply. I say that, it takes a little while and sometimes the screws on the reservoir are a little bit tight, but yeah, use the Allen key that came with it. Make sure you use the right size Allen key, otherwise you'll end up messing up your screws and sort of tearing them and stripping them, which you don't want to do. And the replacement film is fairly easy to find. If you didn't get a replacement film when you ordered your printer, Amazon's got tons of them on there. I tend to use the official Creality ones, but there's third party ones available if you want. So, I look forward to many thousands more prints with no more fails now that I have replaced the film. Thanks so much for watching 3D Printed Soup. Huge thanks to everyone who has liked and subscribed. And if you haven't liked and subscribed, go on, just drag your cursor down. Off to the right a bit, down a bit, there you go. Red one says subscribe, give that a click, you'll know when I upload my next video. Stay happy everyone, stay safe, keep printing and maintaining.